We might be at the very bottom in terms of the Shiba Inu currency, and the price action in particular. I don't say it because I want to be at my lowest point, mind you. I didn't just say it because I wanted the value of the Shiba Inu currency to increase. We have some data to back that up, and it's not just about the levels of support that are now available. We're going to talk about the quantity of Shiba Inu coins that are profitable and unprofitable at various levels, or that are in and out of the money. In order to better comprehend the levels at which Bitcoin is currently trading, and the possibility that it will soon reach rock-bottom values, we will also be taking a comprehensive look at the cryptocurrency market. If you don't start saving now, you might regret it when the bull market starts. Let's talk about it. Let's get started if it sounds like something you'd be interested in. I then added that we wouldn't just be wishing and hoping that these are the bottoms. I'd like to examine a few topics, and this article does a great job of highlighting several levels of the Shiba Inu coin. We'll move on from that now. Additionally, we'll discuss the levels of Bitcoin. However, Shiba Inu's SHIB is currently supported at a staggering level of 23 trillion. What exactly are we discussing here? The key point is at 720,730 points per Shiba Inu coin, or 23 trillion Shiba Inu coins. If they dropped below that threshold, 23 trillion Shiba Inu coins would leave the money. Shiba Inu coin is stuck as we move up because so many players have gathered around the 700 to 750 point per coin level. People are pushing into profit in order to break back up above, and once they start to see some green, those who do not want to hold for the long term will be more likely to sell. Those seeking purchases or items to add to their shopping carts. If it drops below their break-even level, which is that 600 or 700, I'm sorry, point per coin level will be doing so. And that's why the present situation is so challenging. But before we break it down, let's read a little bit more. Shiba Inu is said to find a significant level of support following a powerful and unexpected blow. The Shiba Inu coin was in a crucial situation. The token has landed on a massive support level, which suggests that there may be some stabilization in the days ahead. It is now trading at about 730 points per coin, a price that, according to several analysts, might act as the foundation for the asset's future fluctuations. This must be the bottom, I hope. Yes, I do hope that this is the foundation. However, we are aware that with the publication of this article, approximately 730 points per coin, or 23 trillion Shiba Inu coins, will be withdrawn from circulation. According to the articles we looked at last week, just 0.12% of all Shiba Inu coins would be profitable at that moment, or 699 points, or 700 points per coin flat. On the whole, nobody is profitable with Shiba Inus. Since it's 0.12%, I can't say literally nobody. But in essence, if the Shiba Inu coin falls below that 700 point per coin threshold, nobody is profiting from it. Why is that crucial? Because if it does drop below that level, it's highly probable that there won't be a significant sell-off because people will be strongly encouraged to hold until they see green once more. I'll say this now, just because it drops below that level doesn't guarantee that the price won't drop. Simply said, it indicates that fewer people will be eager to sell, and we are aware that the volume will be quite low if Shiba Inu coin is not sold, which it is, or if it is not being bought at a significant rate. Additionally, if there is a very low volume, any time Shiba Inu currency is put up for sale, the decrease will be more pronounced. Every time someone goes to buy it, the price will rise more dramatically. Therefore, volatility will increase if people behave very conservatively or remain very stationary below that 700 point per coin threshold. It doesn't necessarily mean that we'll return to 1,000 points per coin or higher as a result, but it does indicate that the volatility may increase even if trading volume declines. This continues by saying that it is clear from a closer look at the subtleties of Shiba Inu's price dynamics that the market is now experiencing limited liquidity. This lack of market activity could have both benefits and drawbacks. On the one hand, it implies that any major push to buy or sell could result in inflated price movements. 
On the other side, it may also signify a time of accumulation during which investors are subtly accumulating their positions in anticipation of the ideal opportunity to sell or drive the price up. That is precisely what we just said, guys. If it does drop below these levels, we might enter a period of low liquidity, which would see fewer purchases and fewer sales. Additionally, whenever there was buying and selling pressure, the idea that volatility is rising is overblown. So this is actually one of the better written posts I've read recently, where the authors are knowledgeable about the subject. However, the total network activity is also exhibiting signs of standstill, not simply the price action. The area around SHIB has also shrunk, indicating a more general attitude of caution and apprehension among its residents. This decreased activity can be linked to a number of things, including the larger crypto market, laziness, and the intrinsic difficulties meme coins face. I'll say this in regards to maintaining long-term interest now. Okay, I do think a new coin can maintain long-term interest. Without a doubt, the Shiba Inu coin community is just as significant. There is simply less activity right now, but if you guys recall the video from yesterday, more people will return. You better believe they'll be coming back in droves during the bull market. People will be overjoyed to claim ownership of Shiba Inu coins. If they're silent right now, wait till they start generating money after that price starts to go back up. People enjoy discussing how much money they make but detest discussing how much money they are losing. We persevere and eventually reach this bull market. Glory day after glory day is what we may expect. Similar to 2021 guys, it's the same as it was in 2017, 2013, and 2011 when the market was in a bull or bear market. We've seen that we're merely experiencing the bear at the moment, so I'm curious to hear your opinions in the comments section.